This is the Triumph Theta CRN2. It's a rather a large pinwheel machine. It has a, a plastic outer casing, which is nicely rounded, all rounded corners and smooth. And uh, it, yeah, it's a fairly standard pinwheel machine other than that. It has uh, 10 digits of input here with a an input display register. I think Triumph Theta were one of the first to implement this this kind of display register. Uh, they started making pinwheel machines in around 1905, but uh, yeah, this machine was made from 1959 till the mid 1960s. Triumph Theta was based in uh, Leipzig, which is in uh, East Germany. So most of these machines were made for the uh, Eastern Bloc, but they were also exported to the West. So you can enter a number in the input and turn the crank on the side here. We'll then add that number to the output register here and increment the counter register. To clear the input, you have this lever here. And that allows you to then enter another number to add to the uh, main register. And so on. To subtract, simply turn the crank the opposite direction. So to subtract this number, I just turn the other way. To clear the main register, uh, you use this lever here, this clearing lever. You can choose whether to clear the counter or the register or both by selecting which to clear here. Uh, if, if you lift one of these up then that will uh, not clear that register. So uh, you move it, uh, move it down to clear uh, the register. So if I want to clear both, I'll move both of these down and pull this clearing lever. So if I only want to clear one, if I only want to clear the main register, I do it like this. And only clearing the counter like this. Oh, there we go. I can also do uh, multiplication simply by doing several additions, so I've done three additions of this number, so multiplying it by three. I can then shift the carriage so that uh, I move to the tens position. Shifting the carriage can be done with this lever down here next to the crank, so it's a nice one-handed operation. And then add however many you want in the tens digit and then the hundreds digit, and so on. So I have now multiplied this input number by 123, and the result is here. I can also shift the carriage by any amount using this knob at the front, pushing that down, and then uh, moving the whole carriage like that. Here you can see which, uh, which position the carriage is in. It's in position number one now, the, the unit, but it goes all the way up to 8. There is also a back transfer mechanism, so that if you have a number in the main register and you want to... Uh, yeah, if, if you have a, an outcome of some calculation, and you want to reuse that as an input, for example if you want to multiply that, then you can transfer this number back into the input by using this button here. The R in the model name, CRN2, means it has this uh, back transfer. You push this in. This only works if the input is, uh, is on zero. And after you've pushed it in, you can clear this and that will transfer it. So that's transferred it to the main register, to the input register. 
Of course, it only works if this, this little lever is down. If it happens to be up, that uh, back transfer won't, uh, won't work. Division is also possible, of course. You can uh, do that by repeated subtraction. So I'll do the standard division of 113 divided into 355. Uh, first I'll have to clear the counter, so I'll do it like that. Second, I'll also have to set the counter so that it counts the uh, subtractions rather than the additions. And that's this lever here next to the crank. I move this down. So now it will count how many times I've subtracted this. So here we go. There's a bell that rings when it underflows. So now I've uh, subtracted it as many times as possible without going under. And then I shift to the next digit. And uh, in this way you, you do a long division. So the result of this division is 3.1415929 with a remainder of 23. This, this uh, model was in production until the mid 1960s, but uh, the later versions had some very slight uh, differences such as that this uh, indicator that shows you what the position is of the, uh, of the carriage. They shifted that over to this side because, yeah, on this version, if you move it out quite far, you see those numbers appearing up here. I think they just moved it over so that that didn't happen. So this was the Triumphator CRN2. Thank you for watching.